Under House Water Heater Trauma, William Hovey Smith, 2021. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman, and I have a home repair problem. And brief, my water heater under the house has gone out. And water heaters are difficult to come by these days, but got one. And at least it's under my truck shed right now. And we need to get it closer to the house. And I called a plumber a few minutes ago and they will make an appointment sometime in the future to put it in. And in the meantime, we have heavy thunderstorms expected and I need to get it a little more under shelter. And we also have some mobility problems. Not only with me personally, but with the water heater itself. The directions say that this water heater should be installed by two people. And yeah, it's a heavy thing. And it's awkward to handle. And this water heater is exactly 2 feet 24 inches in diameter. Uh, the problem is the aperture under the house I believe is some smaller than that. Hmm. And there is the entryway through which the water heater must pass. And that is about 21 and a half inches. So I need to gain another couple of inches. So we're going to remove the sill and also this top plate here and then it will barely clear. The first thing we're going to have to remove are these little door seals top and bottom. Well, since that first piece is now gone, uh, we'll see if we can move a cut section of that bottom sill. And I'm going to need to do exactly the same thing up here. Well, when they say this stuff was permanently bonded, well, yeah, it is. Uh, it's taking some real force. Break these out. And I'm going to go ahead and take both sides of this out just to give added clearance. And now we have exactly 24 inches. That's going to be close. Because I have so little clearance, I'm going to use two different tools. Uh, this little mirror, as well as this oscillating machine, to smooth up this tough adhesive from this steel cross piece right here. Because that will jam it up. And anything I can do to make this passage easier with the short clearances I have, uh, the better off we'll be. Well, we certainly moved some material. Yeah, that helped considerably. There's also some mortar down here on the floor, and I'm going to see if I can get that too. Okay, good job, fella. I'm an author, mainly of outdoor books, and of interest right now is hunting big and small game with muzzle-loading pistols now that many states' muzzle-loading seasons are now open. I also have a new business book, Make Your Own Job, 
anytime, anywhere, at any age that's available as soft cover, ebook, and also as an audio book. My novel, Until Death Do You Part, is now also available as an audio book from Lantern Audio. Despite being much corroded and looking generally horrible, uh, this is also coming off. Now this is a flexible metal pipe and we have iron in our water here in this part of Georgia and it corrodes bronze and brass and this is the second failure of this connecting flexible metal pipe that I've had on this particular water heater. So if you're going to put in a water heater and sort of along the fall line here in Georgia where you have iron in the water, yeah, uh, you need to use the plastic rather than metal. Using the pipe wrench and the adjustable crescent wrench to back up each other, we now have the drain hose that I had hooked up as well as the supply and the exit hose uh, removed from the water heater. And now we're going to see if we can figure out where the electrical connections are by removing this panel right here on the side. These are the heat control units. The electrical supply is fed from this line coming in from the top and obviously here and here. So I need to cut these and pull that line. Now I've already turned off the power, but just to make sure after I cut these, I'm going to do a circuit test just to make absolutely positive that these lines are not live. That valve refuses to unscrew, so we're going to cut it off with the angle grinder. Get rid of it that way. Well, the angle grinder got rid of that valve, so now it's more nearly circular. So when I roll it, uh, there'll be less resistance. Now the theory is if I snip that red and that black wire going to the unit and undo a holding bracket that's up there at the top of the water heater, I should be able to pull those wires straight out. What we found out with, to our surprise was that black wire was still hot. So somehow this thing is still getting electricity despite being turned off and despite cold water coming from it. So consequently, uh, we're going to have to kill all the power in the house before that thing is moved. We've got thunderstorms are coming and as you can see I've lashed it to the dolly and that way I can move it into the porch here and get it out of the weather even if we should have a bad blowing storm which is exactly what we're expecting. I've laid it down gently here and I'll see if I can lift the other side and get it over the threshold. It doesn't slip away from me. As it is prone to do. pretty easy lift. So we have it now positioned about where it needs to be before it goes under the house. The predicted rain came. Now I had to enlarge the hole by taking out a concrete block and cutting away a steel retaining member with an angle grind. Our new water heater is now installed. Uh, it did take a little while because I had to redirect some plumbing. But otherwise, it's looking good. Now, whilst they were here, they noticed another problem. 
and that was with my tank over there. As it turned out, a pipe fitting on the tank had also developed a leak and was spraying water against the back wall that was not caused by the water heater. So uh, they saw that and corrected it. So that was a good lick on their part. Plumbers charged by the hour for trip and repair time. So as much preliminary work that you can do will lessen your bill. The leak in the water system was only seen when the pump was running, and this is the reason I hadn't spotted it before. For more information on my books, blogs, and nearly 900 videos, go to www.hoviesmith.com. To find out more about my business books, go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. To discover how my novel, screenplay, and movie project is coming along, go to fatherthegrooms.net. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.